images of various Hindu gods are known as Murtis. Each Murti is the divine expression of a different Hindu deity of which there are many. Even more than the ones you see here displayed at Bright Side Inns. Today, for Fuzzy Entertainment, this is part 2 of our 13-part video series where we seek to answer the most common questions non-Hindus have about Hinduism. I am Rion Elder, and I'm on a journey of enlightenment, a journey that I hope you will join me on. Today, with the help of Bright Ideas, we answer one of the most common questions of all. Why are there so many gods? Very good question, and actually this is the most frequently asked question. Actually, in Hinduism, there is one god. When that god is performing a certain function, for example, when he is involved in the manifestation of this universe, he is called as Brahmaji. He is given a name and a form. When that same god is engaged in the sustaining of the universe, he is called as Vishnu and he is given a name and a form. When he is engaged in the dissolution of the universe, he is called as Mahesh and he is given a name and form for that. So it is really one god performing different functions, having different aspects. And so each aspect has a name and a form. It's just like you, you have the prime minister who is the head but you have all the ministers who are in different portfolio. So the Lord has taken, the same Lord went into part manifestation up to do different for different purposes. Then you have a, one person, is a son, then he becomes a husband, then he becomes a father, then he becomes a grandfather, and he's say one person. In the first place, there are not so many gods. There is only one God. Ekam sad vipraha bahudaha vadanti. Truth is one, God is one, but the wise masters refer to that one reality by various names. For instance, let me draw an example. In your home, you have a mother. The mother is the mother to all her children. She is the wife to her husband. She is a daughter to her parents. She is a sister to her brothers and sisters. She is a grandmother to the grandchildren. And she is the principal in school. How many individuals do we have here? We have one individual with many roles, many portfolios, many responsibilities. In a similar manner, in our tradition, it is one divine consciousness that has many portfolios or roles or responsibilities or duties. 